It's not just government agencies that are being accused of looking at your information unlawfully. Google is being sued over its practice of scanning the contents of its email service, Gmail. And the suit alleges even people who don't use Gmail are having their privacy violated. The CBC's Lindsay Duncombe explains. Be it love letters, work correspondence, or grocery lists, many of us believe our email is our own business. It's a personal thing. It's, it's like sending a letter. You don't expect the post service to open your letters. But if you're one of the more than 400 million people using Google's free version of Gmail, you signed a user agreement allowing Google to share your information with advertisers. You've probably noticed it. Do a Google search or send an email about, say, a yoga class, and next thing you know, there are ads for yoga classes in your area. And this is why the tech giant is being taken to court. Google is amassing um, digital dossiers on all of us, and we have very little control over it. And I think, I think that the time has come to push back on that, and that's why this case is so important. Privacy advocates say Google's practice of scanning for keywords violates wiretap laws because if non-Gmail users send an email to a Gmail account, it's scanned too. Google says it needs to scan emails for viruses, spam, and yes, to make money. And it says it's all done by machines, not people. In a motion to dismiss the case, Google argued anyone using those other email services has no legitimate expectation of privacy in information. And what's more, say the experts, Google isn't the only web-based email service doing it. This is a fact of life about Gmail and any other free webmail service that you're going to use. These are all businesses, and their business is not to give you free email. With awareness of privacy growing, some people are changing how they use free email. I'm very careful what I put on there and how I do things, and so hopefully they won't get much information out of me. Bottom line, if something is really, truly private, the simplest way to keep it that way is not to put it online anywhere. Lindsay Duncombe, CBC News, Los Angeles.